up guys doing another what's next this is on former world title challenger uh kugrep pulev um who is in a three-way tie for ninth in the heavyweight division for me right now um pulev last fought in um shit i think it was november of last year when it was actually a fight i was at against uh rydell booker he scored a um an ugly 10 round unanimous decision it was kind of a boring fight um, it was just a stay busy fight for him ahead of a mandatory title shot, which he is cashing in on next. Um, one way or the other, we're going to be seeing him challenge for the world title next. Now, it looks 99% sure that he's going to be facing Anthony Joshua next. That fight got postponed from June 20th due to the coronavirus pandemic. It's been pushed back. It's got a new date of July 25th right now. That's not 100% finalized because... We don't know what's going to happen with the coronavirus pandemic, but we're hoping that that fight is going through. That's what everybody's hoping for. So, um, if it, but Eddie Hearn said the other day that if it goes past July 25th, if it goes to, um, you know, our past August, mid August, Eddie Hearn said that Anthony Joshua might be thinking about uh, a unification bout with Tyson Fury instead. Now, I don't think that's going to happen, but. You know, you never know. I mean, he, he might get away from mandatories and just look at uh, main fighters. and then. But Pula is going to fight for the title no matter what. That fight is happening for sure. And, um, you know, we just got to wait and see who it's going to end up being against. Um, you know, it'd probably be against Charles Martin, the number two contender and former champ. But I highly doubt that's going to happen. So it looks like Anthony Joshua is for sure going to be fighting Pula for the title. Personally, I think Pulev's going to get his ass knocked out against Joshua. But if he pulls off the upset, that's how we're going to – I'm going to talk about this one. If he pulls off the upset and becomes a unified champ, what's next for Kubrat Pulev? Okay, against number one, number one out the gate is undefeated WBC champion Tyson Fury. If he were to beat Anthony Joshua, this fight would be easily made by ESPN and they would fight for all the titles. The problem, though, consists of two things. One, does Anthony Joshua have a rematch clause in a contract, and how does he beat Joshua? If he comes out and knocks Joshua the fuck out, probably Joshua doesn't fight him again immediately. But if he gets a razor-thin, tight decision, Joshua probably does face him again. Um, that's one thing. The second obstacle that would prevent a Fury fight, at least for the undisputed, is the WBO championship because the mandatory is due to Alexander uh, Usyk next, and um, uh, that that fight has to happen immediately after. Now, I think Pulev would probably give up the belt to face Fury, so there is a possibility if he upsets Joshua, there's a decent possibility that Fury is next for it to unify belt. So I could definitely see that. Next at number two, Anthony Joshua. He's already fighting Joshua next. If he were to upset him, I absolutely think he could face Joshua again. Um, more likely than not, uh, you know, because it would be a major upset if he beats Joshua. <coughs> Sorry. Next at number three is WBC, our former WBC champion, Deontay Wilder. If he upsets Joshua and doesn't have to make a mandatory, uh, an immediate rematch, I think Wilder is a fight that makes a lot of sense if Wilder beats, jo uh, beats Fury. So, you know, both those things have to happen. Personally, I don't think either one's going to happen. So I don't see this fight happening after that, but you never know. Next at number four, Andy Ruiz Jr. Um, Ruiz, it could happen. You know, Ruiz, it depends on what title he wants to get in line for. Um, he is a name. Could possibly happen if Pulev pulls it off because you could use the angle well. These are both the guys that beat Anthony Joshua. Personally, I think he'd probably get opportunities against the winner of uh, Fury and Wilder, their, their third fight. But... You never know. I guess it could be an option uh, down the road if he were to pull off the upset. Number five is Luis Ortiz. I don't think um, Pulev, if he pulls out the upset against Joshua, would take the risk against a guy like Ortiz after that. I'm not seeing it. Um, number six is uh, Alexander Usyk. Absolutely could happen because Usyk is the next mandatory for the WBO title. So if Pulev pulls out the upset, Usyk could, uh, would cash in on the mandatory. They would have to fight. Now, it, he would he, he could vacate the world title, though, if he has another option. So I really don't think Pulev and Usyk are going to fight, but they could. Number seven 
is Dillian White. Um, White is a mandatory right now for the WBC title. I think he's going to wait around for that. I don't think he would snare out a fight with Pulev. Opportunity at all those belts. Um, Pulev maybe says yes, but again, but then again, it's top rank working in matchroom and not a huge showdown right here. Um, you know, in terms of big names, so I'm not seeing it. Against number eight, um, Joseph Parker, the former world champ. Not seeing this fight. He has bigger name options. That would be a risky fight for, excuse me, for him to take after upsetting uh, Joshua, and I don't see it. Uh, and then the three-way tie for ninth, the other two guys he's tied with, former champ Alexander Povetkin. Povetkin's fighting Dillian White next. I don't think he wins that fight, but if he pulls out the upset, he's still the interim champion for the WBC and in line to face the Wilder Fury winner. So I'm not seeing him and Pulev lining up after that, but I guess it's possible, but I, I'm not seeing it. And then Michael Hunter is also tied for ninth, former world title challenger. Not a big enough name if he were to pull off the upset over um, over Joshua. This wouldn't be a big enough name to fight next, so not seeing it. So, you know, all that, in my opinion, is kind of irrelevant because I personally think Anthony Joshua is going to whip, pull his ass, knock his ass out. That probably is going to end Pulev's career at his age. He's 37, 38 years old now. But he's got a puncher's chance. He's got decent skill. He's got some pop. Um, Joshua got knocked out, you know, uh, against Andy Ruiz last year. So you never know what can happen, um, in especially in a heavyweight division. So we'll see. But it looks like July 25th, we're going to see Kubrick Pulev challenging for the unified heavyweight title against Anthony Joshua. All right, guys, that's it. That's what's next on Kubrick Pulev. Hope you enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been here with the truth.